Keeping honeybees means wearing some special clothing. The idea is to manage inspecting your hives while not being distracted by bees in your face. When you first choose a veil and maybe a beekeeping jacket or even a full beekeeping suit, the options may seem staggering. You could choose regular cotton material, vented or partly vented clothing, a veil that zips on at the shoulders, or a veil that ties on with string. Suits and jackets are generally white at first, but some are tan and there are specialty colors available too. Think about the details. Look for a nice large ring for the zipper tab. Some suits have an extra zipper for those visits to the woods. If you wear boots and a full suit, leg zippers are great. The Lyson suit has straps that go underneath your boots. Consider the pockets. Do they close? Does your phone fit? Or will it fall out when you bend over? Do you keep your hive tool in your pocket? Think of other things you'll have to put in pockets. Your lighter, queen marking pen. Have you checked out a vented jacket or a partly vented jacket to let some breezes in? These have a solid cloth chest and back. Try things on. You'll want a baggy but reasonable fit. Fully vented suits are nice, but the weight is significant. If you can't spend much, try getting a helmet or hat with a veil and wear your own lightweight, loose clothing. Lyson veils have a handy chin strap. It keeps your hat from falling off your head when you bend down. You will undoubtedly get some stings through the years, but stings can be minimized with good habits. I wanted to show you some different kinds of veils and uh, some details about getting yourself ready to work on your bees. This is my favorite jacket and veil and the veil stands up over my head without having a brim or a hat brim on my uh, forehead. So I like that, but you may like having a hat brim because it gives you some shade from the sun. It's all just your personal preference and you have to feel comfortable when you're working with the bees. The other thing I use is rubber gloves, which give you a lot of dexterity and feel and you crush less bees while you're working. So I recommend trying medical gloves or mechanics gloves uh, and just give it a try. They rarely sting through them. They seem to have a hard time getting a grip on it. You will be a better beekeeper if you try working with these or even going barehanded after you're really comfortable. You can use them probably at least three times before they rip. You just go like this to make it easier to get them on. And You'll have a better time working with your bees if you can feel what you're doing and grip things without having big, thick leather gloves, which end up causing you to accidentally crush bees and not even know it, because you can't feel little bees that your hand is touching. But I wanted to show a few things that this particular jacket has. It has some Velcro to tighten up the cuffs. It has these stretchy loops of elastic, which I put over my thumb. Some people put them over any other finger. It just keeps your cuff down on your hand and not creeping up. So that's what those little loops are for. Other details, if you have a zip-on veil like I have right here, the best way to make sure that this juncture from this zipper and these zippers is shut is to start with this zipper and make it go up above the crossing. And then when you get your veil on like that and you bring these in they come in below the zipper tab from the one that came up and everything is secure there's no little tiny hole right there anymore so first the vertical zipper and then your other ones as I was saying there's hundreds of different kinds of jackets full suits just the jacket and veil just a jacket that you had a veil to. So you make your own choices, you gotta feel comfortable. I use my own pants plus my jacket. These are a kind of lightweight, tight weave pants. Uh, very floppy and loose. And if a bee stings my pants, it's pretty rare that that sting gets to my leg because they are loose. This is a round veil with helmet. And I'm going to show you how to put it on and what to do and what not to do. The band inside of the helmet is adjustable so you can make it tight on your head. 
Uh, keep in mind, this is the back. It's very narrow here. This big wide area is the front. First thing you do is just pop it on your head. The strings will be in the back. Make sure that the bottom of the veil is over your collar. If you have a collar that stands up, the strings in the back. You're gonna take each one and bring them around to the front. Now you might have one ring here, or you might have two rings on the bottom of your veil. The idea is to get these strings through the rings or the one ring. And then pull it down, go around the back, and that gets like a good seal right here at the bottom of your veil. Bring it back around the front and just tie it in a bow. And these things come with very long strings because you never know what size the person is who's buying the veil. So if you are not a person with a waist this big, you don't have to keep all that string. Cut it off. If you don't have time to cut it off, you can just wind it up and put it in your pocket because it will get caught on things. It'll get caught on the hive bodies when you're picking them up and just annoy you. So this kind or any veil that has a hat brim and it's on your head, uh, my personal preference is not for this because it makes my head sweaty. Um, the ones that's a stand-up veil and it's just freely standing around your whole head and your head turns inside of it, that's my preference. But there's all kinds. Uh, you can try them out in the showroom or try out your friend's gear before you invest in a suit, a jacket, a veil of any style. Definitely Try on gloves before you buy them because you want them to fit snugly. If they're leather gloves, snug and thin leather. If you buy the rubber gloves, they should also fit snugly. So I hope our video about clothing choices, veil choices, how to put things on correctly has been useful to you. Check out the other videos and give us a call or make comments below. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a five-star review and I'll leave you one to can't stop the hustle. It's a good song.